Hi, I'm Yan Ling, a PhD student working with Boris and Andre. So planning is crucial to all animals, humans, and robots. But robotics, uh, oh, but robotics, cognitive science, and neuroscience all have different models to approach these problems. So it is hard to bring all this together to see a big picture like what we can do in vision. Robot plans in high dimensional and continuous space. Cognitive scientists often discretize the actions in space and use different algorithms to reason out the rewards and costs. And in neuroscience, people decode animals' mental maps and goals, but usually they have no or simple models for composition structure of plants. We have been working on a motion planner that is compositional, that is compositional, continuous, and based on deep models. So we can make progress in all these areas. Robotic planning is hard. Even problems that they think obvious to us are hard for robots. So this is a hard example where robots need to escape the trap to reach the goal. But planners today either cannot, uh, cannot learn to escape from the trap or just explore and just explore randomly. Or they need tens of thousands of examples to learn to escape and generalize this to new maps. So our planner learned from dozens of examples and they generalize. And it searches the space and take, uh, take snapshot of local environment and expand the LSTN at each point and sample a new direction from the LSTN. And it colors an observation model, a CNN, that extract features from the environment which are important for planning. And it learns quickly, is continuous, and it is compositional. So given the sentence, they describe the plan. Rather than learn a single, L, uh, a, single, a single LSTM, we can learn multiple models that encode different concepts. So even if we use a full sentence to describe plan, we can, we can disentangle what a word means uh, and, gen and use it to, to, to uh, to have a sentence to describe the plans we never seen before. And we are applying this model to human planning. And when planning, humans consider goals, the, uh, the cap their capabilities, and the dangers. And with Liz and Sherry, we created a navigation game where participants uh, see the pits and walls on the map and controls the car toward the goal. And we want to know how people, how people trade off uh, reaching to the goal or taking the risk, or how the mental model about dangers and control look like. And robots will use information like this to learn to manipulate tools. And just in case if you have some time and we want I want to earn some money and just uh, by controlling the bunny cars. In the summer, we are excited to do more experiments and try this out with kids to learn how the knowledge and contr of control and dangers develops. And with Matt and Hector, we have been planning on experiments on rats in order to decode uh, their neural activities using the combinations of LSTMs that replicates the planning capability of rats. So just like in vision, where one can map between the neural recordings and uh, object detec detectors, we want to map between the neural recordings be uh, between uh, the rats who follows the composition of plans and, and, the, new, a new, and the neural network planner. So, and understand how the brain decodes the plants. So our go overall goal is to have a single model where knowledge from brains, mice, and machines come together can help guide the progress in the others. 
And we are at the very beginning of the journey, but this is a, our first model. They can uh, actually uh, help us address these issues. And with that, I'm happy to take any questions during the break. Thanks.